Hi you guys! Look who I have with me! These three monster high dolls, Laguna Blue, Draculaura, and Claudine Wolf. So look at Laguna Blue. She is pink and a little bit of blue. <laughs> She's a really pretty bubblegum kind of pink. A little um, not as light as Draculaura which here's Draculaura and I love her her G3 dolls I want all of them she is like the cutest and then Claudine Wolf also super cute and this one I got the Crescent Moon shirt variant so I'm so happy I got that so let's go ahead and unbox them who should we start with I think I'm going to start with Dracula because I think I'm the most excited about her. I got her little plastic piece out off of her and I was just thinking like it would be cool to just like display her like this if you wanted because you could just hang her like on the wall. So like if you technically wanted her still like in box but didn't want to have that plastic barrier, this would be a really cool way to display her or even if you did clip her out of the box it might be still sturdy enough to hold her, her on the wall because this is really pretty cute so like they are just so pretty out of the box mine has this like a shine on her i'm not sure if you can see it but i just i kind of grabbed like the first one i think it's from her bangs like the gel maybe it looks like a little sticky-ish, but now I'm going to cut her out, so. Okay, I got her out, and look how cute she is. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm finally holding her in my hands. And look how long her hair is. She has that split dye job going on, the half black, half pink, and I had my hair like half reddish and then half blonde so it's not like that right now but i mean it was so similar you know it was pretty cool and look at her little fangs her little heart her eyes and i'm her bangs are really soft so it doesn't feel like there's like a bunch of glue in there and then her eyebrows I don't want to lift her bangs up too much and mess them up, but there is a couple like loose hairs and stuff like that. Like right here, it looks kind of choppy. Like, but, and then I can also see like little loose tiny hair coming off, but that's okay, you know. And then her little ring. So like hers, she has it actually goes on her finger you know how the rainbow high they have the molded on rings the barbie you know they have the little plug type rings i kind of like this it's interesting it's a little chunky and then her little shoes let's look at those i really love them there you got the little hearts and they're like bat wings so they're pretty and then she she's kind of thick you know she ain't like regular skinny monster high dolls they try to make these ones like all different types of body types so some look a little you know and that is cool what i just did how did i do it where is that type of articulation that's her she has it in her like that chest type Ooh, that's so cool you can see it right there she has the chest plate articulation i love that so we can make her like she kind of looks hunched a little bit you can make her stand up straight more yeah these dolls I think for the price point of them, they are definitely worth it because they come with all these little accessories as well. So this chair is like an old Monster High chair. 
so i just thought it would be cool to bring it into this video and set each doll to see if they sit in it well and these dolls don't come with stands though so that's one thing that's kind of you know sad about it but it's okay and then she can hold her little it's like cherries so it's supposed to be i guess like blood you know i think i think somewhere i read she's a vegetarian vampire actually on her creep production box i'm pretty sure so here's her little heart bag and you can kind of open it like barely so i could put these little other things in it so that's pretty cute and this is her little bat um i forget its name let me check real quick count fabulous this is count for fabulous so adorable the little heart eyebrows the little bow yeah okay and then even this pretzel has eyes and a little mouth it's so interesting it's so cute so that we could probably fit oh okay everything's falling over on her little like, pinky i guess it kind of looks like she's holding it and then her little phone in the shape of a little coffin with the little bat on top and the heart you know everything gotta have the bat wings and the heart <laughs> and then of course her spf 500 because she's a vampire gotta protect herself from that sun and then her little glasses which i'm not a big glasses fan for my dolls but they they are super cute so i don't know i don't know how to put them on <laughs> and then this is i guess her little cape and you have to tie it and untie it which i don't really like having to do I would have rather had like a little snap and then like a faux bow that just stays tied. That would have been cooler, but you can put it on her. Okay, I guess both ways it would look. It works. I'm not going to put it on her. We're going to go ahead and get into another doll. So I'll be right back with probably Claudine. Okay, quick look at Claudine before I un, um, undo her little zips, her ties. So, look at her lips. They're like a reflective goldish color on them. They're so pretty. And then, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that real quick. How pretty she is out of the plastic, just like I did with um, Draculaura. Okay, so I got Claudine out, and this is kind of interesting. I guess it's like a molded on fur. It kind of looks like, you know, it's where her ears would be if they weren't on top of her head. It reminds me of like little fins, but you know, that's just the first thing I just noticed. But look at this pretty curl. She's got nice little curly, wavy-ish hair with the purple and a little lighter purple and some brown under it well i guess it's like a blondish purplish pink color i'm not sure but there her face is her eyes and then her little nose it's so cute and her little freckles so there's her necklace and also, um, Draculaura has a necklace too, but I'll show you that in a moment. 
she has like i think two necklaces on and she has a belt and then you get that same you know swivel articulation and she has these um shoes they're kind of like some sporty they're not you know heels like draculaura in like her original character she had these long boots these are kind of like short boots ish shoes so that's her let's see if she can stand yes she can okay and then her glasses so she's supposed to have like them on like regular glasses instead of like sunglasses but you know like i said i don't really like glasses on my dolls but i mean i don't know they're a shiny gold color it kind of looks okay i thought they were gonna be like you know more yellowish but i like them so here's her snack she has these little howl puffs they're like a little crescent moon and they're pretty cute look at all the detail on them and then this it's like a cookie or something and she took a bite out of it and then it has like teeth around it she can like hold that and then her little comb it's a crescent and then her little i guess they oh yeah they are called coffin phones so it's like shaped like the coffin and then it has like the little i guess wolf instead of the vampire you know so she could hold that too and then her little cat and this cat's name is crescent of course <laughs> and it has a little crescent moon and its head i don't know if it mm, i think i might break it if i try and turn it you heard that little pop sound so here's her little bag and then of course a whole bunch of crescent moons a little key and not really anything right there and then little scratch marks and there's a rubber band on here too so this is supposed to be like jingly i guess and then you can open her bag a little bit too if you just you know we could probably put the puffs in it right now mm. it's a little hard <laughs> so and then here's her jack or it's not a jacket it's like a vest so, a little puffy bust, which, yeah, I'm going to take her glasses off. And let's look at her earrings. They're also little moons. And so, if we compare her to Draculaura... You can see their little shapes are different. They're not all the same. Like, you can totally tell Draculaur is shorter and a little wider. So, that's pretty cool. Let's try and see how Claudine sits in the chair. While she's still holding her snack. <laughs> Oh, her feet touch the ground. So, that's how she sits. And let's see, can Dracula stand? Probably not. She has these heels. But let's go back and look at her. She has a little necklace on too. And it's underneath her bow tie. I love her earrings. They are also, see, like this side has the pink and that side has the black opposite of her hair. And then these shorts, like they kind of remind me of like sleep shorts, but they're still cute. 
so let's go ahead and get their the pretzel keeps falling out <laughs> get their Powell Laguna out oops sorry okay here she is and it's kind of hard to see her little freckles on her face like my camera is not picking it up like as vibrant as it is in real life but yeah there's laguna outside of the plastic so let's go ahead and get her out of the ties okay here we have laguna out of the box and i'm trying to now you can kind of see her freckles but she has pretty brown eyes and so she has a fish earring on one side and like a pearl on the other and then she has um like shell necklace and then seahorse on her shirt or her hoodie actually because it's like underneath her belt and then you could like bring it out and probably try and put it on her head and then she comes with this little ponytail thing some barrettes and then she has ooh this pink is like reflecting purple too is so cool and then this side is like a teal color and it has that reflective pinkish purple in the back that's so cool okay so here is her like rooting is kind of sparse like right here like you can see her scalp it says like you can see where it says a five five right there but that's okay this is 2021 Mattel which is kind of interesting because I mean, I guess they made the sculpts last year because it's 2022. <laughs> so, there we have her um, tie dye shorts and little ruffles on the sides. And then her legs, there's her little fins. And then I love her shoes. They're such a pretty hot pink color and they're strappy and it just says monster, monster. And that's so cute. I love all her pink colors. Like they're just really nice and vibrant. I love pink, <laughs> but one of my favorite colors is actually green, which she doesn't really have any of, actually, unless you count the teal. And so, let's see. Sit her down next to Jack, or no. Actually, we have to put her in the chair now and sit Claudine down next to Draculaura. Of course. And her shoes even like her legs are even longer. She must be taller than um, Claudine, I guess. So here's her bag and it's like a shell and it's kind of interesting. Like it reminds me of like a spider web almost too. And it has little dripping and then it can go on her back. And this one is the easiest to open actually out of all of them. I could put her chips in there way easier than I could. I could put all of her stuff in there. So her little coffin phone. It's like more like a shell phone actually. <laughs> a shell phone. Cell phone, shell phone. So let's see. She can hold hers. Um, okay. And then she has these little goldfish crackers. They're so cute. And then it has little Neptuna on there. Which we'll show you her in a moment. And 
And there's Neptuna. So cute. Very vibrant pink. I like how the little fin goes so you can like sit sit it up like that. It's pretty cool. And her glasses, they have like little waves on the side or scales. I don't know. And then she has this cute little water bottle and it actually opens, but you can't put anything in it. And then it's a cool little like whale fin. And then she has kelp crisps. So, and then it's like a little dead octopus. Like the eyes are X's and then a little, another fish down there. And then here's her little second outfit piece. It's actually a bathing suit. It's like a whole nother outfit instead of like an extra piece to go on her outfit. So that's and then she also has a fanny pack too like she has a whole second little bag accessory and let's see if she can stand she probably can yes she can so let me go ahead and set them all up right next to each other real quick Okay, so I know this video was a long one, but thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know who your new favorite Monster High doll is. And whether it be one of these three or one of the others that have come out that I didn't do a little review on. You know, I just saw this other little piece right there. <laughs> so, you know. I just love them all. I don't know. I I can't choose. <laughs> My favorite uh, of all of them probably for the others, like I said, I want all of the Draculauras, but you know. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.